The security situation in the West African sub-region is fast coming under threat following separate declarations of possible retaliations over the current situation in Niger. Elite correspondents within the Nigerian army have revealed direct orders for soldiers to move towards the northern borders of Africa's most populous nation to enforce a no-fly zone. The decision coincides with ongoing meetings currently between chiefs of the defense staff of member states over a threat by ECOWAS to reinstate ousted Mohamed Bazoum. For President Ekufuado, Ghana will support all efforts to return the cool ridden country to democracy. There are unfortunately emerging trends of some military takeovers in the West African region, which are however not seen or accepted by the international community as the law and will never be. Ghana will continue to count on her diplomats to offer the needed support in these countries to help them return to democratic governance, which is the law, and without doubt would yield more sustainable growth and development opportunities for all classes of people in any society. The approach, however, is being questioned by Chair of the National Democratic Congress, John Tennessee Dunketia, who believes the ECOWAS intervention does not address the underlying challenges in Niger. I think it is a reckless experiment. We shouldn't go for military intervention now. They should look at the military interventions all over the world and tell me the end state. So I don't think that we should rush into any military intervention. We should be looking for the causes of these military interventions and address them. What is happening across the Sahel is bigger than uh, just a small military intervention. Any military intervention will be aimed at dealing with the symptoms rather than the causes of the disease itself. The outcome of the meetings by the chiefs of defense staff is crucial in view of the current political situation in parts of the sub-region. Niger's school leader has been defiant, declaring that he will not bow down to pressure to reinstate deposed President Mohamed Bazoum, criticizing sanctions imposed by West African leaders as illegal and inhumane, while urging his countrymen to get ready to defend their nation. The regional bloc has imposed severe economic sanctions on Niger and threatened to use force if Bazoum's presidency is not restored by August 6th. It has also dispatched a delegation to Niger headed by former Nigerian leader Abu Salmi Abubakar to negotiate with the soldiers who seized power.